come up here. I had a vision of the throne room in heaven as seen from a distance. It was beautiful and majestic and vibrating with light and life, with rainbow colors all around. And the angels were crying, Holy, Holy, Holy. They heard a voice like the sound of many waters saying, Come up here, beloved. Rest beside me, and I will show you things to come. Beloved, do not weep, my child. I am he who sits on my holy throne. I am the Ancient of Days. There is no one before me. I am still in control. From the throne of majesty, I reign over your life. Fear not, dear one. The enemy will never ascend to my heights. For he has been soundly defeated at the cross. He does not have dominion over you. Oh no, my bride, I have purchased you and redeemed you, and delivered you by my own right hand. Remember that you are seated with me, dear one, seated at my right hand, seated in a place of honor. You have come through the veil into the Holy of Holies by the blood of the Lamb. Hear my spirit calling you up higher. This is where you belong. Come by faith. I have given you seeing eyes and hearing ears. The atmosphere of heaven is sweet and my peace shall enfold you. And my love shall encompass you. Set your mind on these things that are above my child. All guilt is gone. Rest in the folds of my robe of righteousness. You are hidden in Christ Jesus, and you have received an abundance of grace. Rejoice, beloved, you are high above the principalities and powers, seated at the right hand of majesty. Through the coming ages, I will display to you my loving kindness and the surpassing riches of my grace. Ephesians 2 6 And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. In order that in the coming ages He might display the surpassing riches of His grace, demonstrated by His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Psalm 47 8 God reigns over the nations, God sits on His holy throne. Isaiah 6 1. In the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filling the temple. Romans 5 17. For if by the trespass of the one man death reigned through that one man, how much more will those who receive an abundance of grace, of the gift of righteousness, reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? Revelation 4, 1-6 After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I had heard, like the sound of a trumpet, speaking with me, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after these things. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was standing in heaven, and one sitting on the throne, and he who was sitting was like a jasper stone and sardius in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne, like an emerald in appearance. Stand by to lunch. The time of triumph has come. Beloved, you have wondered why I have hidden you away, why no one knows your name why you have been ignored and considered unimportant. Be of good cheer, my warrior. I am gathering my true army, my true remnant. You are not of those who seek fame and fortune. You only seek me. You have been in waiting. I have kept you a secret from the enemy. He is not all-knowing, dear one. He is oblivious of my plans. You are my warrior bride, my end-time army. You have been in a standby formation while I have been gathering together those whose hearts are truly mine. Now is the time of release, the time when I am launching you as one body, the body of Christ. 
my warrior bride. O my child, you shall make a public spectacle over the principalities and powers as your Savior did at the cross, not by your own might nor on your own power, but by my Spirit. Oh, and what a glorious triumph it shall be. Do not be afraid, for you will not be put to shame. Do not be humiliated, for you will not be disgraced. Get ready, beloved. The waiting is over. The time of triumph has come. I am releasing you into your victory. All will see it and marvel at your wonder-working God, for your husband is your maker. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer, the God of all the earth. Stand by, a preparatory command which alerts a unit that it will be receiving some kind of marching orders. Stand by to lunch. Colossians 2.13 When you were dead in your trespasses and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our trespasses. Having canceled the debt ascribed to us in the decrees that stood against us, He took it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, He made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. 1 Colossians 2.14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Isaiah 54, 4 Do not be afraid, for you will not be put to shame. Do not be humiliated, for you will not be disgraced. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood. For your husband is your maker, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. He is called the God of all the earth, for the Lord has called you back, like a wife deserted and wounded in spirit. The wife of one's youth when she is rejected, says your God. Second Chronicles 16.9 For the eyes of the Lord roam to and fro over all the earth, to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is fully devoted to him. Beloved, do not fear. Take my hand by faith. I will not let you wander any longer in the desert place. It is a new season, my child. Even though you have made wrong turns over and over, I am taking you by the hand and I am leading you from the wilderness and into my garden of glory. You have not missed your opportunity, dear one, because it doesn't depend on you. It depends on the finished work of the cross. Those things which have haunted you in the past shall become a testimony of my deliverance. I am changing those patterns of thinking which have hurt you and become a way of life for you. I am bringing you into alignment with my word. It will be like a breath of fresh air. The atmosphere of heaven shall clear the stench of the evil one. The fragrance of Christ shall permeate your being as we walk together. Instead of barren lands, you shall dwell in my presence, my bride. It is the secret place where you may freely eat of the tree of life and drink from my river of delights. By my spirit, I am bringing you from mountains of terror to those of delight. I have brought you to my banqueting house, and my banner over you is love. I shall come in and dine with you. I shall restore you and speak life to you. Nothing shall ever be the same. O oh, my love, you are altogether beautiful and fair. There is no flaw nor blemish in you because of the blood of the Lamb. Come, my love, come to my mountain of mare and to the hill of frankincense. The day is breaking and the shadows are fleeing away. Song of Songs 6-2 My beloved has gone down to his garden, to the beds of balsam, 
to pasture his flock in gardens and gather lilies. I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. He who has pastures his flock among the lilies. Son of Solomon 4.12 A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Revelation 3.20.21 Behold, I stand at the door and continually knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and dine with him, restore him, and he with me. He who overcomes the world through believing that Jesus is the Son of God, I will grant to him to sit beside me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down beside my Father on his throne. Song of Solomon 4.6 Until the day breaks and the shadows flee away, I will go my way to the mountain of Mare and to the hill of frankincense. O oh, my love, you are altogether beautiful and fair. There is no flaw nor blemish in you. Psalm 36, 7 How precious is your loving kindness, O God! And the children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They drink their fill of the abundance of your house. And you give them to drink of the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Weep not, beloved. I have put the enemy under your feet. I am stirring the heart of my royal bride. You are seated in a place of honor at the right hand of majesty. I have clothed you in garments of salvation and wrapped you in my robe of righteousness. The fabric is interwoven with threads of kingly gold. You are all glorious within. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia the very fragrance of your Savior. As I am clothed with splendor and majesty, so are you, my child. As I am, so are you in this world. My sons and daughters, recite your verses for your king, for I have made your tongue the pen of a ready writer. I have anointed your lips with grace and your heart with compassion. I have blessed you forever. In majesty, I am writing forth on your behalf. In the cause of truth, humility, and justice, I am the Mighty One, the King of all the earth. I am He who has pierced the hearts of my enemies, and nations fall beneath my feet. Fear not, my child, my throne is forever and ever, and there will be no end to my kingdom. My right hand achieves awesome deeds for you, dear one. You are seated with me in heavenly places, my bride. My anointing of joy is flowing from my head unto yours. My joy shall be your strength. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Isaiah 61.10 I will rejoice greatly in the Lord. My soul will exult in my God. For He has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has wrapped me with a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. 1 John 4.17 Because as he is, so also are we in this world. Psalm 45.1 My heart is stirred by a noble theme as I recite my verses for the king. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings makes you glad. Daughters of kings are among your honored women. At your right hand is the royal bride in gold of affair. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. 2 Corinthians 2.14 But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and manifests through us the sweet aroma of the knowledge of Him in every place. For we are fragrance of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. Romans 16.20 The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Heard the devil has to return sevenfold that which he has stolen. And I saw the word glory written out seven times. And I said it aloud seven times, and I heard, The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall accomplish this. And I saw the numbers, 1037, and heard, Psalm 103, 7. Beloved, fear not, mighty warrior, be of good cheer. The thief has been found and soundly defeated at the cross. You know through my word that the devil is a thief. Therefore, beloved, rejoice in your God. The thief must return sevenfold that which he has taken from you. I make my ways known to you by my spirit. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I am with you as I was with Moses. And beloved, you are my child. I will not fail you or abandon you. You have much better promises through the blood of Christ. My glory, my spirit is in you and upon you. In my passion and devotion, I have saved you. The battle has been won. My sevenfold return is my wholeness, my completion, my divine perfection in every area of your life. Be of good cheer this day, dear one. Your victory is in the name of Jesus. The name above every name, sevenfold, shall the enemy return what was lost. My glory and the seal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this in your life. For I have declared it, it is finished. Zeal, Strong 7068. Ardor, from color produced in face by deep emotion, great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an object, passion, committedness, love, fervor, fire, devotion, eagerness, keenness, gusto. Seven is the number of completion. Divine perfection, wholeness, finish. Proverbs 6.31 But if the thief be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. John 10.10 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Psalm 103.7 He made known his ways to Moses, his mighty deeds to the sons of Israel. Joshua 1 5. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Psalm 66 5. Come and see the works of God, how awesome are his deeds toward mankind. Psalm 86 10. For you are great and perform wonders. You alone are God. John 11 40. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Isaiah 9.7 Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The golden rose in the fire. I saw a beautiful red rose. All around it was fire, but the fire did not destroy it. Even in the midst of the fire, it turned into gold. Beloved, you are my golden vessel of honor. Yes, my child, do not give up during this trial of your faith. Keep standing on my word, because your victory is assured. I gave all that I had so that you now stand in my victory. Don't give up, my precious one. This trial you are going through is not of my doing. But I tell you this, I will turn it around for your good. I came not to kill, steal, and destroy. That is the enemy who does these things. I came to bring you life and life abundantly. Will you hang on to your Savior and trust me just one more time? Will you trust me with your life and those of your loved ones? Failure is not an option in my kingdom. My love for you never fails. I am bringing you out of this trial, for you are to me far more precious than gold. You are priceless to me, though you be tried in the fire. I am right there with you. 
I am the fourth man in the fire. Fear not, my child. These fires of ad adversity shall not even leave the smell of smoke upon you. You are sealed with the precious Holy Spirit. My fire, the very flame of the Lord, dwells in you. I know you, and you are mine. Be confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you is faithful to complete it. You shall come out of this wilderness place, a vessel of pure gold, leaning on your beloved and smelling like a rose. Come out smelling like a rose, to have success or good outcome in a situation in which one was likely to fail or be harmed, to succeed or to do better than anyone else in some situation. Second Corinthians 2 Corinthians 2.15 for to God we are the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. 2 Timothy 2.19 Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure, having this seal, the Lord knows them that are His. And let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. First Peter 1 Peter 1.7 That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold, that perishes, though it be tried with fire, may be found unto praise and honor and glory and the appearing of Jesus Christ. Song of Solomon 8.5 Who is this coming up from the wilderness, leaning on her beloved? Send me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, Jealousy is fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord.